Hello and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host Brian. We're going to wrap up today with a special selection which is where one of you tell me exactly what it is I need to check out. Today's selection comes at us from Kevin. Hey Brian, my special request is Frownland by Captain Beefheart and his magic band. I'm selecting this because of the unusual manner in which it was composed. Don Van Vleet, the singer, wrote the whole Trout Mask replica album on piano, an instrument he did not know how to play, uh, in one eight-hour session. He wrote every part as short one to two measure fragments. Vleet's fragments were then transcribed and arranged into songs by the drummer, John French, who also decided which instrument would play each part. It was meticulously rehearsed for 10 to 14 hours a day for eight months, and the results are what you hear. What madness is this? I, I've never even heard the song yet, <clears throat> and I'm already worried, although I have heard uh, some comments about the fact that <laughs> Beefheart has been in the uh, special selection list for a couple weeks now, so I've been eagerly anticipating this, but I did not know the context behind it was going to be so chaotic. So let's dive into this and see what Captain Beefheart and the Magic Bands have for us today. My smile is stuck. I cannot go back to your frown land. My spirit's made up of the ocean and the sky and the sun in the moon in all my Your land of gloom, where black jagged shadows remind me of the coming of your doom. I want my own land. Take my hand and come with me. It's not too late for you, if it's not too late for me to find my home land. Where man can stand by another man. Without an ego flying, with no man lying, and no one dying by an earthly hand. Let the devil burn in a beggar land, and the little girls that live in low, low worlds take my kind hand. My smile is stuck, I cannot go back to your frown land. I cannot go back to your frown land. I have nothing to say. <sighs> I mean... A generous read on this would be an highly experimental avant-garde take on the pure concept of composition, not just looking at 
techniques of composition, but the idea of composition as a whole and breaking it down to subvert what it means to create a track. We could even explore the heavy use of disjointed phrasing. We could look at counterpoint. We could look at the idea of instrumental roles and how important it is to give the right role to the right timbre lest you end up with something like this. There's a lot of things I think I could dig into if I wanted to give this a very generous read and put a positive spin on it. But I think at the end of the day, given what I know about the recording process of it, I... I don't know how much doubt I can give it as a benefit to get a positive read out of this. As stated, it <laughs> the musical ideas that comprise this are created by somebody who didn't know how to play the instrument they composed them on, handed to somebody else to divvy these micro ideas up to the separate instruments, seemingly without any notice of how they would work together, which makes sense, as I've talked about in the past, that drummers tend to compose things different than melodic people. Um, well, I guess that's a weird way to put it. Melodically focused people compose music different than rhythmically focused people. We've explored this a few times in the past uh, as we listen to music composed by drummers. Um, and we hear how they tend to have a very different interpretation of how an instrument is played. Listening to a guitar part composed by a drummer is always interesting. And vice versa, listening to drum patterns written by guitarists. And so, you have somebody who didn't know how to play an instrument, write parts, and give it to a drummer for the drummer to figure out who should play them. And in what order they should be played. It introduces a lot of cooks into the kitchen that are not necessarily going to work in ways that are complementary, and we end up with something chaotic like this. And I'm really trying to spin this in some sort of positive manner. I don't want to come off as, as cynical here, but I think this is the very first song we've had on the channel that I don't have any positive takeaway to go off of. This is, simply put, noise to my ears. At best, as I said, I could read it as an avant-garde experimental project of just something I don't enjoy. And I think it can still be categorized as that. I don't think that the intentions to the composition process alter what the end result is at all. Whether this was intentionally crafted by somebody who was particularly utilizing these notes and patterns and rhythms for a specific avant-garde flavor or somebody who just didn't know what they were doing and pass it off to someone else who didn't know what they were doing and we came upon this uh, eclectic mix of sounds, I don't think any of that changes the end result. It is still a song where we have four instruments all seemingly in their own time signature, sometimes even in their own tempo, it feels like, with their own phrasing and possibly even their own keys, all playing music underneath a vocal pattern that seems to be in a completely different key from everybody else and doing its own phrasing on top of that. It is highly disjointed, and that is probably the best read I can have on it. it is just a chaotic disjointed mess does that make it bad no i also called the mars volta a highly chaotic mess so uh be captain beefheart is in good company with this <laughs> um but i think you would have a difficult time finding somebody 
who would enjoy this. And that's not to say that there aren't people, and there's probably very dedicated communities uh, for Captain Beefheart fans. I'm not saying that it would be difficult to find the people who do enjoy this, but if you went on the street and played it for people, I think you'd have a difficult time finding someone who did. Um, just to say that this is a very niche composition style that I I don't know. I'm going to hit the lyrics real quick and then we'll wrap this up. <laughs> so I like the lyrics. It's a very positive vibe. Um, it's just about being happy in this uh, metaphorical frown land. Frown land is a place where a man can stand by another man without an eagle flying with no man lying and no one dying by an earthly hand. It is a place that is the opposite of the land of doom and gloom that other people come from, those who frown. This is a place where happiness and acceptance um, are at the forefront of the experience of existing here. I think it's a phenomenal s little story. <laughs> and he says, you can take my hand if you want. You can come with me. It's not too late. It's never too late for you to come to my homeland. But I'm never going back to your frown land. All right, you can come with me and accept people. And live positively and try to avoid drama and just accept the people around you. You're more than welcome. But I'm not going back to your frown land. I'm not going back to that world. There's too much doom. There's too much gloom. Sunken eyes and frowns everywhere. And like I dig that. I, but there is no way I can tie this to the music. Oh man. I don't even know what the music's trying to say. That's the thing. <laughs> um, geez. This is a short one. Those are my thoughts on Captain Beefheart and his magic band's Frownland. 1969. Produced by Beefheart and Zappa. You know... Seeing Zappa's name on this project, 28 songs. Seeing, seeing Zappa's name on this does not surprise me in the least. Zappa was an engineer uh, and produced it, which makes sense. He was an engineer. That seems to be the only thing that he did with it. Let me know what you thought. Put that stuff down in the comments. Above the comment section is a description box. In there you can find a link to Linktree. You can find my music, a way to support the channel, uh, the Discord server. Above that, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to wrap this week up. Check out our final album opener, the last special selection for the week, and a creator request. Until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical, of the music you listen to. And have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you choose to watch my videos. Mm -hmm.